Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you are new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is gonna be a bonus for you guys, for my Scorpios, because you guys are always my top viewed videos. Um, I have so many Scorpio subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And happy birthday. Um, since it is your birthday month, we're gonna go ahead and do, I think, okay, so I'm gonna break this down by signs. So signs you could be dealing with, we're gonna go through with the whole zodiac. Um, all 12 signs and I'm going to pull energy for each one and see how your person's feeling towards you. So we'll do how they feel towards you. Um, how they feel towards you. How, what are their intentions with you and then potential outcome. Okay, so we'll do three questions for each sign and we'll see what comes out. Okay. So let's start with Aries. So Scorpios dealing with Aries. I know I have a lot of viewers, a lot of Scorpio viewers who are dealing with Aries, um, which is a very interesting couple. Very intense, right? Okay, so Scorpio and Aries. So we're gonna do, how do they feel towards you? Uh, what are their intentions for you? And then potential outcome. Scorpio and Aries. Thank you. Scorpio and Aries. All right. How do they feel towards you, Scorpio? How does Aries feel towards Scorpio? Um, okay. They feel a little bit detached, a little closed off, or maybe they feel like you are. What are their intentions with you? Do you have new love in reverse? We're going to clarify these two. So we're going to break this down. Um, what are their intentions? Their intentions are to reconcile with you. Come back together. What is the potential outcome for Scorpio and Aries, please? Potential outcome for Scorpio and Aries. Wow. Exploring some feelings. Wow. Heart to heart conversation. Okay. So potential outcome. I mean, I do see... For Aries, you guys will be having some type of open and honest conversation and their intentions, what they truly are wanting out of this connection is a reconciliation. Um, the, the feelings are real. I feel like uh, this is a very intense connection. Um, hmm. This is somebody you've, you've known for a while, right? New love is in reverse. Lots of feelings I'm getting. Scorpio. Deep feelings. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like with this person, maybe the timing has been off in the past or something that has to do with timing. Maybe you've known each other for a long time or it was never the right time. How do they feel? Um, I will timestamp all of the signs because I feel like this is going to be a pretty long reading. Scorpio. How do they feel? See, something with timing. Something with timing. Um, secret detective. Hmm. I feel like this person watches you. They're, they could be watching you from a distance and hoping for some, the right timing to come for you guys to come together or something like that for them to return, for you to return, for there to be this reconciliation. All right. What are their intentions? You have reconciliation regret this person has a lot of regrets um and they're intense see I, I knew it they're watching you see they're like watching you from a distance or something watching you online scorpio the aries they're stalking you <laughs> maybe not stalking you but they're watching you online okay they're keeping tabs on you i also just heard that this person may have like fake accounts that they watch you off of you might not even know that they watch you so be mindful of that but they have a lot of regrets. They want, in their intentions, they want to start making um, more positive choices in your guys' connection and things to go in a more in a more positive uh, direction. They want to start a new cycle with you. Okay, potential outcome for Aries and Scorpio. Wow. 
you and this person have a lot of differences. This person probably triggers the shit out of you, Scorpio. You guys probably do it to each other, to be honest with you. Um, because you guys have a lot of, um, see, water, fire. Okay, hot and cold. Um, you guys have this energy of like, a lot of differences between the two of you. I feel like one of you is very hot-headed. One of you is, and that's probably the Aries. Not, I mean, I'm an Aries, so I can say that. Um, Aries tend to be very, like, hot-headed and quick to say things. Um, Scorpio, and you're probably more like, hmm. Let me soak this for a second. It's like, so the energy is... Um, it's like Aries may say something to you or this person may have said something to you and then, uh, now they regret it or like that might happen often. That's what I'm getting. It's like, it's an interesting energy. Um, they do have real feelings towards you. Maybe they want to apologize for something they said or something they did towards you. Um, and the outcome is, yeah, there are challenges in this connection. Um, you guys both learn from each other and can grow with each other but are you and them both willing to compromise and come together regardless of your challenges I mean if not then obviously it's not worth it but if you guys are both open to that knowing you guys have are knowing you guys have these differences and might not be the most compatible is it worth it because there are very strong feelings and there is a need for you guys to have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I feel like I'm getting an energy of like someone might be very withdrawn or like it's hard for someone to open up about their feelings, okay? Hmm. Let's see. All right. So how do they feel? Moon. I feel like this person's a little bit confused. Yeah, this person, there's confusion here. They may have kept something from you that came out, I'm getting. Um, here you are, you're in this card. The devil, the bottom of the deck here. They feel very um, tied to you, Scorpio. I don't want to keep saying this in your guys' readings, but you they might be a little obsessed with you or like obsessively thinking about this because there's confusion here or or because they have regrets, right? So, hmm. What are their intentions? They have regrets. They want a reconciliation with you. Two of swords, but they're like kind of stuck up in their head here. Um, I feel like you guys are kind of at a, cro not a crossroads, um, like in a stagnant energy in a way. Like they, they may not have reached out to you yet or they may be, come off very distant and may only be watching you from a distance right now, okay? But in their intentions, they want to move towards you. I just feel like there's fears here. What are the fears? Mm, I just heard rejection. Rejection? Okay, what is the outcome with Aries? Ace of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords. Damn. So, <clears throat> Scorpio, with this Aries person, I feel like there's very strong feelings between the two of you. You guys do need to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but I don't feel like this person... I'm just getting an energy of, like, there's heartbreak here, and this person may not come forward and communicate because there's fear surrounding rejection. Okay, so maybe that's a message for some of you. If you want this to work out, maybe reach out to them. But regardless, this person's thinking about you and they do have strong feelings towards you and a lot of regrets about what went down between the two of you. Okay, so that's what I have for Aries. Let's go to Leo. So, let's see, that was nine minutes. Wow, this is gonna be a long reading. Okay, so Leo... Scorpio and Leo. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio and Leo. Scorpio and Leo. Okay. How do they feel? How does Leo feel towards... Wow. <laughs> 
Leo feels like you're a soulmate. Okay. Um, they're trying to trust the process and, um, Ooh, there could have been some deception here. They want to move to calmer waters with you. That's how they feel. Okay. They feel like you're a soulmate. What are their intentions with Scorpio? What is Leo? What are Leo's intentions? They need to decide what they want or that's what is in their intention. So clearly deciding what they want. Uh, what is in the outcome, potential outcome for Leo and Scorpio? Leo and Scorpio. This could be the one. Somebody here needs to let go of control issues or like um, allowing this to unfold naturally, allowing things to kind of flow. So with Leo in your outcome, this could be the one and stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. So there's a need for positive thinking. Um, you've already met this person. This is a soulmate connection or this is how this person feels. This is how Leo feels towards you. Um, but in their intentions, they want to decide what they want. They're trying to figure it out. Okay, let's see. Leo and Scorpio. But you're definitely dealing with a soulmate, guys. Um, okay, let's see. Um, how do they feel? You guys could have uh, had some type of breakup. <sighs> this person feels like there's no going back. Uh, that you're healing from this or that they're healing from this. That there's no going back. Um, they would have to chase you and do a lot of convincing for you to come back to them. But they feel like ultimately like you're, you're gone. Maybe you blocked this person. Uh, what are their intentions? Very soon they want to come together with you. Very soon they want to make a decision. Whew. This person also has some rejections, abandonment issues, loss. Um, this person and their intentions, they feel like you, are their, you guys are very compatible. They want to make, make an offer towards you and their intentions. Um, so expect some type of romantic gesture or gift, um, them wanting to take things to the next level. That's in their intention. What's in the outcome? They could have cheated on you, Scorpio, but they want to work towards some type of resolution. Their emotions are running really high, or this could be you, um, and it's like needing to make a decision. Someone here needs to make a decision on whether or not this is worth uh, working out or just moving on completely. There's a need for you guys to, with this person, with this specific person, work on um, communication, I'm getting. Like maybe, okay, so that's that blocked energy. Thank you. Um, you guys couldn't maybe not even be talking to this person. Okay. You're coming to the end of a cycle and you're getting ready to start a new one. Scorpio. Okay. How do they feel? They feel like you're a soulmate, but they need to convince you. They feel like you've withdrawn communication from them. King of Wands, here, here they are. They feel very passionate towards you, Scorpio. Yeah. Uh, no action is being taken at this time or that's how they feel. Uh, what are their intentions? Let's see. The sun. More Leo. <laughs> They're unable to walk away from you and their intentions. This is the, um, the eight of cups in reverse because you make them happy. That's, um, this is in their intentions. They're at a cross, okay. You're dealing with someone who's at a crossroads who is trying to move on from you, but they're unable to, Scorpio. This person is unable to move on from you. Interesting. Um, what's in the outcome? They feel like you could be the one and they're trying to stay optimistic, but someone here cheated. Or something that happened between the two of you. Yeah, four of wands in reverse. Queen of pentacles. 
So there was some type of, um, like a broken home is what I just heard, or like some type of, um, someone stepped out here. I'm getting very strong for those of you I'm referring, I'm reading for here. Huh. Could have been with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they could have that in their chart. Or someone they're married to, someone they lived with or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting there. So there will be some type of resolution or some type of, um, there will be movement here regardless. Some type of conversation or something is going to be had here eventually. So that's Leo. Let's see. Let's move on to Sagittarius, all right? So if you are a Scorpio dealing with a Sagittarius, then these messages may resonate with you. Um, Sag, Scorpio. I just heard for some of you, either you or the Sagittarius is pissed off. Someone's mad here. Uh-oh. What's going on with these fire signs? Hmm. Could be some codependency with this uh, Sagittarius and also like somebody needing to release another energy here. An X. So, okay, so someone's pissed off because they're waiting for someone to release an X I'm getting. Um, hmm, and they're running out of patience. Let's see what comes out. Sagittarius and Scorpio, how do they feel towards my Scorpio viewers? Hmm. See, someone needs to free themselves. From something clear their energy from a situation you have a lot of shit that just came out so how how do they feel towards you there's romantic feelings here right so your feelings are real and worth exploring playfulness very soon see clearly decide what you want someone needs to make a decision on what they want and free themselves from something um to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and then you have children here so some of you could be dealing with someone who has children there could be an age difference between the two of you. I'm also getting some of you could be dealing with someone who has children and are in some type of connection with someone related to that. Um, and they need to make a decision between two people or need to make a decision on releasing that. Uh, what are their intentions? Sagittarius. What are their intentions for Scorpio? Sagittarius. What are their intentions for Scorpio? Okay, so you guys have a lot of differences. In their intentions, they want you to forgive them for something or they want to, um, okay, so this person in their intentions, they want to release the past. They want to release a situation that no longer serves them, okay? They're no longer, they're, they're trying to move away from that or this is what they're, in they're intending to do, right? Because there's, you and this person, are more compatible than this other person that they're dealing with and they're realizing that, something like that. What's on the outcome, Sagittarius and Scorpio? Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Somebody's releasing a codependency situation here. I'm getting, some of them could be in a marriage even and they're, they're ending some type of a marriage or commitment. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do they feel? Sagittarius? How do they feel? Okay, there's, um, there are fears here of rejection, abandonment, loss, or commitment issues. So this person fears losing you, Scorpio. This person feels like they expect a gift or a romantic date or some type of unexpected invitation from this person. Someone here is married or uh, Whoever I'm reading for, someone's married in this connection or coming out of a marriage. Um, okay, so what are their intentions? What are their intentions? In their intentions, um, they want you guys to have a union where you guys accept each other for who you guys truly are and not to try to change each other. I feel like someone here has commitment issues though. I do feel like that. Like you and this person, um, in their intentions, they may, they may just want to stay friends for a while because they're healing from something I'm getting, or this could be you even. 
What's in the outcome? Staying optimistic. What's in the outcome? I just heard taking it slow. You and this person are very compatible. I was picking up on that earlier too. Um, I just, so I'm getting an energy of like to check your, not an energy, a message. Check your guys' birth charts. Um, check to see how compatible you guys are. That's interesting. Um, okay. Okay, because you guys could probably, <laughs> you guys are very compatible, I'm getting, but there could be um, difficulty in your guys' communication or troubles in the way you guys communicate. Okay, maybe you guys both aren't on the same page yet on what it is that you want. Something here like that. So maybe your message here is like, maybe it's better to be friends for now until you guys get on the same page. Okay. Let's see. Scorpio and Sagittarius. Scorpio and Sag. How do they feel? How does Sagittarius feel? Wow. Hmm. The Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. So they feel like they they do want to um, invest in this, but I feel like there's an energy here of um, taking things slow and um, like planting seeds. But there is, they do want to invest in this. Okay, so yeah, expect a gift or romantic date, night invitation. Um, I feel like there might be a lot of like romancing going on here where they feel this way, like... Um, Feelings, right? Like emotional is what I'm getting. Okay, so what are their intentions? Sagittarius. Wow, the Empress. Now you have the Emperor and the Empress. But, okay, so in their feelings, they maybe are trying to heal um, and trying to put themselves first, right? In their intentions. Um, putting themselves first. Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so, but they need to be single in order to move towards you with a, a real romantic offer. They need to heal first and kind of stand in their own power before they can offer you something. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, outcome, staying optimistic, working on your guys' communication, maybe being friends, what else? Three of Wands. What else? So it could come. Knight of Swords. What is this here? The Chariot and the Hanged Man. Two of Cups. So you could come into union with this person. There could ultimately be a victory, but there's just an energy of waiting and. Um, it's like one foot in, one foot out. Okay, and this is Temperance too. Ouch. Um, which may be a little bit painful for you at times, but, or them, but staying optimistic and working things, um, working out your communication and taking the time, investing in this, taking it slow, maybe being friends before it turns into something more is going to be important in this connection, Scorpio, with this person. Someone here is still healing. So yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. So let's move on to water. So if you're a Scorpio dealing with a cancer, then these messages may resonate with you. Scorpio dealing with a cancer, we're at 24, holy cow. Okay, Scorpio dealing with a cancer. How do they feel? We're we dealing with a new, um, this could be a new love situation. Possibly for some of you, for a cancer. Okay, how do they feel? Cancer, how does cancer feel towards Scorpio? How does cancer feel towards Scorpio? Okay, you and this person could have a lot of differences. They feel like you're a true love, Scorpio. Um, that you 
this connection is a romance of a lifetime. There could be an age difference between the two of you, religious differences, distance between the two of you I'm getting. What are their intentions? What is Cancer's, what are Cancer's intentions with Scorpio? Cancer and Scorpio. Cancer and Scorpio. Okay, so there could be distance. This person may want to move towards you, um, travel to see you, something like that. What's in the outcome? Cancer and Scorpio. Cancer and Scorpio. What's in the potential outcome? Cancer and Scorpio. Stay optimistic. This is a popular card today. This is worth waiting for. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. So, they want you to stay optimistic about this connection. It's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, how do they feel? They feel like you're a true love. Um, they feel like... You or this person could be really um, waking it up to like what you're here to do, like what you're called to do in the world or like your gifts or what you're passionate about, something like that. Hmm. So this is what they could be focused on right now. Yeah, there's a lot of distance between you and this person. Um, hmm. And I feel like for for who I'm reading for, you're dealing with someone that is really trying to figure out who they are. Like in the world. Who are they? What are they here for? Trying to find themselves again. And their intentions, they want to move towards you. Um, wow. And their intentions, you have marriage. And their intentions, they want to take things slow, be patient. Um, they feel like you... Uh, guys could have something that leads to marriage, um, long-term commitment. Someone here is like obsessively thinking about that even, I'm getting. What's in the outcome? Waiting. There's a detour here. Um, things are going in a new direction. It may be surprising, or there's something here that's surprising in the outcome. Uh, opening up to this romance. I feel like some of you probably feel like this love is lost, and it's actually going to um, come together. I just heard like some of you could feel like there's no way you guys could come together, but something's going to work out here and it's going to be surprising. All right. Cancer. So Cancer and Scorpio, how do they feel towards you? Cancer and Scorpio. How do they feel towards Scorpio? Ten of Wands. There's a burden here. Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. A commitment moving very slowly is a burden here for someone. Something moving too slow. Because there's something here, there's a blockage here. Um, distance I'm getting for most of you, that's what it's going to be. How do the, What are their intentions? Ouch. Three of Swords. King of Swords. Hmm, what is this? Why is the King of Swords here? What is this? The Hierophant, Two of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with someone who needs to move away from a commitment. Um, cut someone out in order for you two to come together. Maybe that's what the marriage is here. They need to move away from someone in order for you two to come together. But that isn't their intentions. Eight of Wands moving towards you. More distance too though. Like you could be, um, I just heard you could have met this person online. Or um, you guys could be at a distance from each other. What's in the outcome? For Scorpio, what's in the outcome? The Empress. Hmm. You guys could, this Cancer individual may have Taurus in their chart. So yeah, something's going to move forward unexpectedly here in your outcome. It's worth waiting for. It's worth um, waiting for and staying optimistic. There's something ending here. I'm also hearing someone here could be very jealous, which is interesting. All right, let's see. 
Um, we're going to move on to Scorpio. So Scorpio dealing with Scorpio. Um, let's see what that looks like. Scorpio dealing with another Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio dealing with Scorpio. How do they feel towards you, Scorpio? How do they feel? Scorpio dealing with a Scorpio. How do they feel? Scorpio is on a Scorpio. How do they feel? Someone here, I'm just getting like, is very defensive or um, resisting. What is this? Resisting some type of expression of love. I feel like somebody here wants forgiveness or needs to release something that happened in the past. Um, for some of you, your person, there's something here with a uh, career finances they're coming out of some type of um i just <laughs> financial crisis maybe or like they're they're coming out of this though so what are their intentions with you love yourself first that's interesting uh what's the outcome chemistry okay so you and this person have a lot of chemistry hmm Let's see. Scorpio dealing with Scorpio. Someone here wants forgiveness. Mm. They feel like you are not into them or you're not open to forgive them. Okay. Uh, how do they feel? Scorpio. How do they feel? They feel like um, the timing is not right. They feel like, um, you could have found out this person was married, Scorpio, or, yeah, you could have found out this person's married. They feel like in divine timing, this, um, you'll forgive them. And in divine timing, interesting. What are their intentions, Scorpio? What are their intentions? There's any, they want to, okay, so they're waiting. See, I'm getting this energy of like, they're waiting. Um, and their intentions, they're willing to wait to compromise with you um, for you to forgive them. Damn, what this person do to you? Uh, what's in the outcome? Chemistry. You and this person have chemistry. Um, someone here is ready to put in the work. Okay, but you may not be interested. You guys do have a passionate um, romantic connection. Very like infatuated energy, lustful. Um, some of you feel like you lose control in this connection or you there's a sense of losing control of yourself in this connection. Um, some of you do feel like uh, this person's not, has no place, um, no longer has a place in your life and you're gonna move on from this person. Scorpio. Yeah, this person could have been a player. Knight of Wands. This person could have been in and out of your energy, in and out of, in and out of your life. They could have um, been some type of like player, or you feel this way towards them. Okay. How? What are their intentions with Scorpio? Scorpio dealing with Scorpios. So your person and their intentions, they're, they're wanting to wait, right? They know there's a lot of conflict between the two of you. They want to compromise with you. They want to come out of this trapped energy where they're stuck up in their head. They do want a commitment with you and they're willing to wait for it. What's in the outcome though? I feel like, yes, this is a strong, passionate connection, but um, I feel like you guys, it. I feel like you lost trust for this person. It's too burden for you. Burdensome. Burden? Burdensome? Whatever. For you. <laughs> and you're moving on. You're closing out the cycle um, with, the, with the, uh, the world here. Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands. So it's like um, Five of Swords. So this person causes a lot of stress for you, I'm getting. And, and that's why you're just going to 
cut the cord, all right? So, let's see. Scorpios dealing with Pisces. Scorpios dealing with Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Scorpio dealing with Pisces. Scorpio dealing with Pisces. See, we're at 35. Scorpio dealing with Pisces. Pisces feels like you're a true love. Hmm. Or you could feel this way about them. There's a lot of passion between you and the Pisces. All right, you guys are ready. So how does Pisces feel towards Scorpio? Hmm. You could know this person through work. I'm getting. How does this person feel towards Pisces? How does Pisces feel towards Scorpio? Oh my gosh. This person is losing hope in your guys' connection, I feel like. You could have retreated your energy from them or vice versa. They feel like you're not expressing how you truly feel or maybe you feel this way towards them, but this is here. They feel like you've retreated your energy. What are their intentions with Scorpio? What are Pisces intentions with Scorpio? Pisces intentions. What are Pisces intentions? Wow. Unrequited love. See, they feel like you, um, but it's not worth waiting for. It's like they want to make an effort, but they feel like you've retreated your energy and you're not interested. What's on the outcome, potential outcome for Pisces and Scorpio? But someone here wants to give this relationship a chance. Okay. Hmm. Someone here wants to give this a chance. All right. Pisces and Scorpio. How do they feel? How does Pisces feel towards Scorpio? How does Pisces feel? See, they feel like... Um, They feel like they shouldn't hold on to you or the idea of you guys coming back together. Um, you may have found something out about this person. They feel like you guys are connected on a 5D level. What does that mean? You guys could be dreaming about each other. They think about you all the time. They could be trying to like communicate with you telepathically, something like that. What are their intentions? See, there's hesitation here and their intentions. Hesitation on a reunion. You guys are dealing with a twin flame. Um, and their intentions, there's hesitation because there's fears of rejection because of this person's previous behavior because you withdrew your energy from them. Maybe you found something out about this person. Um, hmm. But in their intentions, they want a reunion. Yeah, you guys have a very um, passionate connection, infatuation. It's in the outcome. Give this a chance. Yeah. You guys have provided each other with valuable life lessons. Um, someone could be running from this connection. There, There is regret here. There is regret and wanting to give this connection a chance. Um, what's in the outcome? What else? So it needs to happen in right timing. Maybe the timing is off um, with you guys. Let's see with tarot. Scorpio and Pisces. What's up with Scorpio and Pisces? Scorpio and Pisces. Unfinished business. Uh, how do they feel? Six of Swords. Like you retreated your energy. You moved away from them. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, no longer taking action. Like it's died out. Uh, what are their intentions? Wow. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands. They want to communicate, take action on a new beginning with you. Um, but they feel stuck. Here's the Hanged Man. Um, hmm. uh, what's in the outcome? Three of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Cups. So someone, I mean, 
I do see there's a lot of confusion about giving this another chance. So in the outcome, someone does want to give this a chance, but no action is being taken. I feel like you're not going to reconcile with this person. I feel like you're walking away from this person or vice versa. Okay. So, Gemini. Let's move to air signs. Gemini. Let's see, we're at 40 minutes. Holy cow. If you're dealing with a Gemini, then these messages may resonate with you. Actually, you know what? I'm going to separate this from fire and water to air signs. That way the video is not like two hours long. Okay, so um, that was fire and water, and then I'll do air and um, earth next. Okay? Okay. So if you're dealing with the earth or an air sign... Follow, I'll post it on here too. Follow me to part two. Okay. I hope you guys liked this reading too. Let me know if it resonates. Um, if you resonate with me, make sure you subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to my channel. Okay. Thank you guys. Happy birthday.